and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making a bee theme card and I'm using Lawn Fawn products from their card kit that they released a couple months ago. Now this is no longer available but they may have some of the products released singularly. If not, Lawn Fawn does have some bee stamps and other companies also have honeycomb stencils and bee stamps so you'll find something that's like that so this is part of a youtube hop with team tiny and it's a color challenge so i'll put the colors up above that i'm going to use so first of all for the stencil i'm using the orange color of distressing called spice marmalade and this stencil you can see has different parts that you can go over i kind of wanted to make the background yellow with the wild honey and the darker color as the more prevalent color as the spice marmalade so i kind of experimented with that and then i also moved the stencil around with the opening so it would go over the top and fill in the cracks now the great thing about doing challenges is it kind of gives you as a starting point so if you're not sure of what kind of card you want to make or it also may get you to try new things that you haven't tried before. So for a color challenge, I kind of looked at the colors that were in the challenge and then I started looking through my supplies to see what I had that would be those colors. Now the Distress Sink I seen I kind of had like a gold color, but I didn't really have the right kinds of pinks. The pinks are kind of more of a rose color and then sage green which I didn't have too much of that in the Distress Ink. So I looked at my Copics and I don't have a lot of pink but I had some that kind of looked like a rose color and so I decided I would do my Copics and since I decided that that told me to look at my stamps and see what I had. So I was kind of thinking bees or some animals because of the gold color and then I saw the flowers with the um, Lawn Fawn B stamp set so that I thought, oh, I can do green and pink with those. So that's how I got my idea to use this. To add a little bit more detail, I'm adding some Distress Ink and I'm splattering that on and that also allows me to get one of the other colors in here. So I'm splattering some old paper Distress Ink, which looks kind of sage green. And I used to have trouble with the splattering, but I saw someone in a video using a fan brush, and I got one of those at one of the box stores, and that has made a big difference. I'm able to get it more of a fine type of splatters. For my stamped images, I'm using the High Five set from Lawn Fine. And I'm going to start with doing the inside of my card. I'm just using an A2 card base and using Memento Black Ink to stamp my sentiment. And the sentiment says, Happy Bee Day. I'm trying to make a lot of birthday cards because I teach preschool, and I'm sure I have a lot of preschool kids' birthdays coming up. And just for a little decoration inside the card, I'm stamping one of the bees with Distress Ink Spice Marmalade. For my stamped images, I use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and then I used a Copic friendly paper which was Nina and I cut the images out with the die cuts. I also have a scan and cut so that's another option that you have. Now for the colors I'm using on the flower I'm using my YG's and I'll try to put the marker lid down so you can see which one they are. I'll also list them in the description below. And then for the flower petals I'm using some RV's and I'm mostly really just using two shades. A lot of times I'll use three shades, but since these images are so small, I'm just using two different shades. Also with the pink, I only have two. And then for the flower top, I colored that in with a very light gold, which is a YR color. For the bees, I'm just using two colors, which is YR 24 and YR21 and I thought that'd be good because they're kind of a gold color which goes with a kind of gold orange color that's in the challenge and I'm just doing more of the darker on the bottom and then going up to the light because if they're flying in the sky and the sun is shining down on them the back should be lighter than underneath. Then I'm using this Lawn Fawn Dementals 
and it's called Sparkle Glaze, and I'm using that for the wings to make them look sparkly and kind of translucent. I'll link that in the description below as one of the products if they have it available, but this was part of the kit, so it may not be. But I do think it's very similar to like the Crystal Stickles. So if this isn't available, I'll link the Crystal Stickles below, which is a product I really like. And I'm using the same YG colors for the Beehive. On this one, I'm doing the darker color, the Y, or it's R, YR, I mean. YR colors, 2-4 on the outside, and then towards the inside, I'm using the lighter color. So if you have something that should be dimensional, kind of round shape, if you put the darker color on the outside and then go in and leave more of a highlight, then it, it will look more rounded. Now I don't do any blending on this. I'm not sure what it's called, but the thing that you use to dip into the honey. So on the very bottom, I'm using the brighter YR color, which is YR24 to make it look like honey. And I'm just taking one of my browns. You can use whatever shade you have. I'm using E35. I thought it looked kind of like wood because a lot of times these honey dippers are made of wood. Then I just use my Nuvo Deluxe Glue to glue my card panel to my card base. As I started to lay out my images, I realized I forgot to color the honey pot. So I'm just bringing in those colors that I need for the card challenge into the honey pot. I'm using the two pink colors for the kind of fabric that decorates the lid. And then I'm doing the jar with the two YR colors to make it look like it's a clear glass that you could see the honey. And then I use my two greens for my honey pot and actually I went down one shade on this so that it wouldn't cover up the words on the honey. Then I just start arranging them. Originally I was going to do this as a landscape card but when I stamped the inside I forgot and stamped portrait so now I'm trying to figure out how I want everything to go. I originally was going to put everything kind of on the lower side but since it's portrait I need some things at the top. I thought it made more sense for the um, hive to be on the bottom since I would bees usually nest on the ground, but I didn't like the look of that, so then I kept moving everything to the top. So I kind of just arrange everything how I think it looks good. Then I just used my Nouveau Deluxe Glue to glue down everything except my bees, and there's a little bit of a smudge on the card where... I got some yellow ink there when I did my stenciling, but that's okay. I just covered it up with my hive. Then I just used my foam squares to pop up the bees. I'll put a list of all the products that I'm using in the description below. Some of these will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use, but I do get a small commission for many sales that those links generate, and that helps support my videos and my website. As I mentioned earlier, this is part of a YouTube hop, and this is a hashtag driven hop. So all you have to do is click on the hashtag in the description below to find the other videos of all the participants. You can also type in hashtag Team Tiny September 2022 hop to find the other videos. And this will get you more inspiration of using these colors in the color challenge. As a final embellishment, I'm adding these Nouveau Jewel Drops, and these are called Very Lime. I like this color. It kind of goes along with the sage color green that's in the challenge, although it is a little bit brighter, but I really like it. It's a pretty color. So I'm adding those just where I think it needs a little bit something extra. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you for your continued support, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day.